Testing. <clears throat> Hello? Testing? Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, just had to make sure that that worked. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I don't know why that's still playing. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I had to make sure this was up. I had some technical difficulties. Uh, but I think I have everything sorted out now. Um, guys can comment if you don't think so. Um, I've tried to take some things from my other live streams and tried to use them here. Uh, just getting the final bit up to make sure I can monitor the video. just have it up so that I can monitor it on my same monitor. I have a lot of tabs open right now. Hope my computer doesn't crash like it did last time. But anyway, um, if you didn't hear it and you haven't heard my last videos, you're probably expecting this to be watching uh, me commenting on the Falcon 9 launch. Although that was cancelled if you didn't, well actually it wasn't cancelled, it was postponed if you didn't know till uh, later in July. Well, let me see if this is better. Is this better? Maybe it's a little bit louder. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, but um, so what I wanted to do since it was postponed till July, I still am gonna try to do that in July, although I wanna try to recreate what this uh, Falcon 9 launch would be like. Uh, just getting word from behind the crew that the volume is good. Uh, but you guys can tell me what you guys think. Uh, so I'm going to make a little, I'll make a little satellite uh, that I'll send up. Let's say radio dish batteries I don't know what that is coming up uh batteries and um some actually two solar panels and this will be what my goal is to try to get up into space today uh I'm gonna turn this just so that while it's compacted stays nice and flattened even though that will be able to turn itself when it uh wants to uh yeah so i'm trying i'm going to try to make remake a falcon 9 launch just like how that one would be and so this is going to be my uh my little falcon 9 i'm going to make in kerbal space program I'm trying to find a So here, okay, so this will be my challenge to get up. And now, well, I'm not sure if it's going to look exactly like a Falcon 9. My idea is to make a rocket ship that is two stages that gets it into orbit, and that one stage can propulsively suicide land. Uh, that sounds like a dark term, you don't know what that means. Um, suicide landing means just landing with one rocket engine at a constant burn instead of many little burns getting down. And it's called suicide because if one engine doesn't work or is a second too late, the rocket ship will crash. And that's why it's so spectacular that SpaceX is able to do this. But anyway, because SpaceX's rockets like this look like a lot, just like one long, long stick, I'm going to try to make it uh, look semi like that. And I don't know exactly what engines will be the most like its thrust, although I think that the first stage is pretty efficient here, and so I'm using a wolfhound. Because uh, anything else would be too ridiculously efficient. And this wolfhound, I think, will work well. Um, and I don't think I need much fuel for it. Wolfhounds are really efficient and actually a really good engine. I don't use them very much, but they are. Um, yeah, so if you haven't ever seen a uh, SpaceX rocket live stream, um, I could get it up. Maybe I could just get it up to analyze some parts of it although um 
usually they have a long first stage or a second stage and um, then have a big stage here. And as uh, said, a Falcon 9, the differential between a Falcon 9 and a Falcon Heavy is, of course, how many boosters it has. I'm going to use these rocket and these fuel tanks. I'm not sure if the size comparison would need a fuel tank that was more like this. That's a little bit bigger. I'm not too sure. I'm going to see how this goes um, using one like this. And if you didn't know, in a SpaceX... There is, so I think these vectors are the most like the Merlins. You know what, I'm going to use one size up, just because of how tiny and squished those rocket engines will be. Maybe two sized. Oh look. Uh, oh, clicked out of it there. Um, here we go. So I'm going to okay. go, and yeah, this is two sizes. I just have it up so that I can monitor it on and, my same uh, monitor. I have a lot of tabs open right now. There, we can get that. Hope my computer for, doesn't crash like it did found. last time. But anyway, um, sure if you didn't hear it, and you haven't it. heard my last videos, um, you're probably expecting this to be a little bit watching, uh, like that. me commenting on the Falcon 9 yeah, launch. That found Although so that was cancelled, yeah. if but you I think that'll well, be actually wasn't cancelled. It. it was postponed, if you uh, didn't know, till uh, later in July. And well, then let me see if this is better. Actually put yeah, and then is this better? Maybe it's a little bit louder. I'm gonna need some support just to make sure it doesn't. I'm not part. sure. I'm not sure. Okay. But, um, so okay. what I wanted to do and since it was postponed until July um, is still, and I'm going to try to do that in July, although I want to try to recreate what this uh, Falcon 9 launch would be like. I hear there's a lot of um, echoing, and I think uh, that's because I just got a better word mic from behind the that mic's a little crew bit that the volume's good. It's a bit uh, but you guys can tell me what you guys huge think. Echo from the room. Uh, so I'm gonna make a little. Second, uh, I'll make a little satellite. I'll try to uh, that I'll send up. That out. Let's say radio dish batteries. know what that is coming up uh batteries and um some actually two solar panels and this will be what my goal is to try to get up into space today uh i'm gonna turn this just so that while it's compacted it stays nice and flattened even though that will be able to turn itself okay. when it uh i just went and got wants to pillows uh, I can't even hear. Uh, really yeah. So I'm trying. I'm gonna try to make remake behind a Falcon 9 launch, just like how that one would be. Pillowed space. And so this is gonna be my. Pillows. That's supposed to make it uh, better. My well, little tried tried Falcon 9. I'm going I'm to make sure exactly how from tall to make trying this to find it to the other stages. Uh, I think I'm gonna use just two of these. So here to make this. Okay. So this will be my challenge to get up. And now, well, I'm not sure if it's going to look exactly like a Falcon 9. My idea is to make a rocket ship that is two stages that gets it into orbit, and that one stage can propulsively suicide land. Okay, uh, that uh, sounds like a dark term. You don't know what that means. Um, suicide land means echo just from landing with one rocket another engine device I was playing at to try a to constant sure burn instead right. of many little oh, burns getting down. Um, and it's called suicide too. because if one engine doesn't work uh, or is a second too late, if you didn't late, know, because of the, the delay, rocket ship will crash, sure and that's why it's so spectacular like that SpaceX is able to do this. When I'm recording this to when you but anyway, this. because SpaceX is so rockets like this look like is a lot, of just like one long, long stick. To look at it, I'm gonna try to make it uh, look semi like that. When I'm trying to look at it, and I don't know exactly what engines will be the most like its thrust. Although I think that the first stage is pretty efficient here. And so I'm using a wolf and then hound. It hits it again. Uh, because anything else would be and then it too goes back ridiculously to again, efficient. Which and this wolf hound, I think, will work that well. Um, and then I don't think I need much feel for it. Wolf hounds are with that to make really it like a efficient second and actually really good engine. I don't use them very much, but they are. I don't know. Uh, um, hopefully it's good now. Yeah. So if you haven't ever seen a exactly uh, SpaceX rocket live stream, singular rocket engine, um, just of how I could get it up. Maybe I could just get it up to analyze some parts of it. Although, um. Usually they have a long first stage or a second a stage and um, then have a big stage here. 
And as uh, mm-hmm. said, a Falcon 9, the differential between a when Falcon 9 and a Falcon Heavy is, of course, how many boosters it has. I'm going to use these rocket and en- these fuel tanks. I'm not sure if the size comparison mm-hmm. would need a fuel tank that was more like this. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit bigger. I'm not too sure. I'm going to see uh, how this goes. Video um, I'm going to record a use one like this. soon. It's going to be, um, is water and wet? And if you didn't know, in a to that, but SpaceX, it's, it's a really interesting there question. Is. So I think these vectors um, are the most like the most. Yeah, it is a really, really You know what, I'm going to use one size up, it. just because of how because now tiny go and over to the video, rocket engines Although will be. how the human, Maybe two size. or how the oh, look. Li- English language uh, works. Oh, looked out of it there. Um, here we go. Yeah, this is two sizes. I just have it up so that I can monitor it on my same monitor. I have a lot of tabs open uh, right now. There, we can get that. Hope my computer doesn't crash like it did found. last time. But anyway, um, Actually, if you didn't hear it, and you haven't really heard my last videos, you're probably expecting this to be a little bit watching. Um, um, so in the me uh, commenting on the Falcon 9 yeah, launch. That found. Uh, Although that, that was canceled, yeah. if but you I think that'll well, be actually wasn't canceled. It was postponed if you didn't know. Until uh, later in July. And then, well, let me see if this is better. Put, uh, the and then, uh, is this better? Uh, Maybe it's a little bit louder. I'm going to need some support uh, so just to make sure it doesn't... I'm not part. sure. I'm not sure. Okay. But, um, so okay. what I wanted to do is that I'm going to until July. Um, is still, so I'm going to try to do that in July. Problems. Although I want to try to recreate what this uh, Falcon 9 launch would be like. I hear there's a lot of um, echoing and I think uh, that's because I just got a word mic from behind there. That mic's a little crew bit that the volume's good. It's a bit uh, away, but you guys can tell me what you guys think. Echo from the room. Uh, so I'm going to make a little uh, I'll make a little satellite uh, that I'll send up. Let's say radio dish Batteries. I don't know what that is coming up. Uh, are we back? I'm going to see if this worked. Testing. Testing, testing. Testing. Testing, testing. That was the weirdest thing. I think I got it fixed. Um, I think the problem was I had another tab open that I didn't have. I think I got it fixed. Um, another thing in. Oh wait. <laughs> I think I had another tab open to uh, try to fix the audio, and I didn't have my computer's audio going, and that was playing into the recording. I know it should be fixed. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just putting some struts here because uh, you can see how the the size change has gone like this. Uh, Purple's been glitchy today. I have no idea why. You can see it just not wanting to place these struts. Um, so I tried to mess with it more today. Huh. It's not liking me today. Uh, here's something I'm just going to try to make my own little, um, sheath, I don't know what it's called, uh, to block and to fill up that gap. This is a little bit more tedious, although mm, it could work. Uh, I've actually seen this been used for, uh, for the, um, for some rockets just as a structural component. 
I think it works pretty well. Just like that, and then I think I can go inside and place struts if I wanted. Yeah, then you guys let you guide as much. Um, yeah, that is weird though. You may have seen that I uh, was about to post. Well, I have it actually completely recorded. I have a lot completely recorded because, um, if you didn't know, I have. Uh, I'm pretty well. I'm pretty busy in the summer. And so I, uh, I'm doing, um, one video every two weeks in the summer. And so I have a lot recorded. I have a lot, of, actually a whole lot recorded. <laughs> um, so yeah, and one of the ones that I have been recording is how many stages is most efficient, because I've been wondering that for a while. And the results are pretty weird, I think. It's kind of amazing, the difference. But, uh, I have seen that a lot of real life rockets have worked have worked at that happy medium even mm. but i think i have enough to get into orbit you can see i have th uh, 3800 delta v here and 1100 there uh i'm gonna add tiny little fins just because i i can't see this thing being all that straight um also our <laughs> also uh rcs thrusters i think i need Ooh, um, yeah, I want to try to add those. If you've ever, um, watched one again, you can see the RCS thrusters flying on that rocket, which is pretty cool to watch. Uh, if you didn't know, there is a trick to, like, duplicate things. I think there's a real way to duplicate it. But if you take it off, hit Control v and then place, and then, uh, hit Control v and it'll go back, although you still have your one here. Yeah, that almost worked. Although then I have to, and then I'll just do that trick again to get it to work. Okay, that, okay, that probably didn't really work. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see how well that worked. And I'm gonna go inside and put some structural supports in. It's always a weird camera angle you have to use to get these right, but eh. it works, sort of, maybe, sometimes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put in some thruster blocks on the outside here. Uh, so the real Falcon 9 has grid fins, and grid fins are not in Kerbal Space Program, so I just used air brakes. Or, um, uh, what is this? Uh, aerodynamically integrated retrograde braking, robustly armed kinetic extend extending system. Wow. <laughs> Which is now popular mostly as a cheap alternative to larger run longer runways yeah uh that's carbal space program air brakes for you um yeah so i think this is about good uh i'll see how this flies probably not gonna fly very well the first time although i'll see not even sure if it is i think it'll have enough lift actually to get up off the surface hmm. talking about good videos though uh I've recorded recently. I did one with my friend Hamza. I think it's going out next week. That was really, really fun. Really weird, but results. Trying to make a rocket paper airplane. I think they worked. Oop, uh, these vectors are very jumpy. Um, it does not look like a Falcon 9. It definitely doesn't look like a Falcon 9. Although, I don't know. It's... I don't know. It's... Okay, uh, it looks like it'll probably have enough to get pretty far. So how I'm gonna land this is I'm for first going to uh, I'm first going to try to get it into space, or I'll do a quick save, and then the first time I'm gonna try to get it, keep going and try to get it into space, and then the second I'm gonna try to land the other one, or the um, first stage. Hmm. Hope you guys are having a uh, good Memorial Day. Plan something nice. 
Uh, yeah. Best thing about Memorial Day for me is that day off. Yay. But, um, yeah. Hopefully this is working. This microphone is not completely stable up here. It's a little bit louder now. Hopefully. Uh, it's almost 10,000, so I should get to 45. Yep. It's hard to talk, <laughs> com commentate, and, uh, do math in Kerbal Space Program at the same time, but I'm doing okay <laughs> so far. Uh, I think I overestimated how much fuel I put in here. I put a whole lot of fuel in. I think, yeah, I put way too much fuel on this stage, probably. Um, yeah, probably about now I should stop it. This leaves a lot of fuel for coming back in, but eh, it's fine. Why not just hit load save? <laughs> save game. Um, Falcon. Falcon. Nguyen. Great. <laughs> okay. So then uh, I'll detach this stage and come with my new stage. Now you can actually see that once that weight's gone, it goes all the way up to, uh, it goes all the way up to like 6,000 meters per second. How much? Okay. Um, you know what? I need to reset this. I forgot to put RCS thrusters on that. Uh, I think I need to go up a little bit more before I go out. Um, well, that would be a fine gravity assist that I was doing. Uh, I don't think it's the best method. Um, oh, clicked off of it again. This fuel tank button is like right next to another tab. It's really annoying. Switched colors, but yeah, can't be bothered. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to add some more structural supports to this. Try to make it as nice as you can. I really wish that you could attach structural supports from the fairing to the rest of the pieces. I feel like that's really annoying. But uh, I don't know. Kind of weird. Uh, just make sure I have all of my stages right. I think it probably is more like that. Um, yeah, I'll leave that extra fuel in that first stage just to try to, uh, just to try to um, make it a little bit easier when I'm <laughs> landing. Okay, we are in. Um, usually when in Real Falcon 9 will try to launch on the launch pad. I have a feeling I'm not going to be that good at launching a, or landing a um, first stage without doing any calculations first and just doing it. So I'm probably going to try to land anywhere near. But um, another thing that's kind of interesting about how they land is that if you didn't know, uh, my microphone's kind of falling. If you didn't know, they do a dog, what's called a dog tail maneuver. And that's that uh, they're going to hit the ocean until they do a certain burn that pushes them towards land. And that's so that if something malfunctions right before their suicide burn. Like I said, if the one of the rocket engines did something funny and uh, you're going to crash, it would crash into the ocean instead of anywhere else. As there's nothing really worth saving on there. Uh, yeah, well, there's no uh, humans or anything, so it's actually quite good to land like that probably turning a little bit too much. Uh, I'm just trying to get as much height as I can because I noticed wolf thorn's pretty inefficient. Well, it's actually really efficient. It's not very fast. So that means that, uh, I just blew it. Oh, <laughs> thing just fell there. Uh, but it does take a while to do its burn. So I probably need to get a lot of height just because I'll be dropping height very quickly. Hmm. Hmm. See all my little nodes. Sorry, it's really, really dark. Uh, I can't. It's really hard because most of Kerbal Space Program is in the dark. It's hard to control it very well. Um, I'm gonna save. How far? How high am I after this? Fifty-three. Uh, 
I'm gonna try to get out of the atmosphere at this and just call it that. Um, and I'll get a nice, say out of the atmosphere, I'll get a nice uh, 90, there we go. And then I'll do a quick save. Falcon 9 YT for YouTube. Falcon 9 YT, great. Uh, and then I'll do the separation. And then I should be on the top stage now. I just realized I forgot to put RCS thrusters, but I remembered to put RCS tank. Ah. <laughs> but anyway, that's my life. So, um, mm, I'll get this to use. I can use a tiny bit of engine burn to try to uh, get that as much as I can. Try to get as guided as I can. Because I don't think this will have any RCS on it, will it? No. Okay. So I'm going to make a maneuver to try to make sure, even though I only have like one minute before getting to my apoplexis. Okay. That should be about good to aim for. I like to make a maneuver now, even if it doesn't work exactly all that well. Uh, so I need to burn now, actually. This is much more inefficient than I thought it would be. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of the juice to get there, to get to that spot, and then start burning. It's going to be a long burn. I'm not even sure how well I'll be able to. I need to do that. And it's going to be a five-minute burn, uh, hopefully with the... With the uh, time warp here, I can get it to at least about a minute. Found this F2 mode. I think it works really well. It looks really cool. Uh, oh, I can also deploy these solar panels now that we're out of space. Uh, because this will always be to pointed towards the maneuver node, um, hopefully that means it'll start pulling up after we get... Yeah, past it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to make this in time. I think we're going to go past this point and back into the atmosphere. Yeah. Okay. So that didn't work. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to revert that flight back to launch and not remember anything from that. Oh, wow. This has already been going for like half an hour. Wow. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh oh. Revert back to vehicle assembly. Uh, you know, also a little bit of the echo. I can take a quick sum. I think that might make it quieter, but I think it might make it a little bit better sound quality. So I'll just turn that off. Yeah. If anything, uh, about that. Uh, but yeah, I forgot to put RCS thrusters on this. That's something I really need to do. Um, I'll put some on this, and I'll put some on this. Maybe it would have been better to put a reaction wheel on. Nah, that's fine. Uh, and, you know, I had, I think maybe I'm going to do double the, um, double the engines here. Because in one model of the Falcon 9, they do take dual um, first stage. Uh, and so then I can just take a dual splitter thing. Bop. Okay. Uh, it's kind of weird to try to get the decoupler on this. I wish they would change that, but you just kind of have to put it on one and then move it. I'm trying to use the exact middle of this craft. Try to get it exactly centered not sure how that turned out um because if i'm just a tiny bit off on this okay and then i'm gonna put a bunch of uh these thingies on help stabilize it Okay, 
hopefully that works ish. Hmm. You know what? Maybe what would make this look a little bit better would be if I took this this off. And then um added one of these. Oh, what just happened? Excuse me. Uh yeah, maybe if I put it yeah, I think this will look a little bit better. Oh, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Forgot that I still had that on uh eight times. Okay. I'll build this fairing. Try to get this. I think this will look a little bit better. Uh, just glitching on the top here. Maybe if I was able to put a fairing here, it would look better. I'm always horrible at this, but I think that you can do something where, um, I'll just do this while I'm here. where you can take a fairing and build it directly into another brick like that. And it'll work. Uh, why doesn't that work? I thought that worked. It doesn't work? Really? Really? Could I put it back to this one? Oh, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this entire first stage in a fairing. Or the entire up part, upper part in a fairing. I don't think there's anything in there that could really be that damaged by aerodynamic forces. Uh, um, why is this glitching itself out? Okay, so here it is. This will look a little bit better. I'm not sure if it'll do anything other than look a little bit better, but uh, that's good. Okay, we'll launch this for the third time. Uh, hug. Third time's the charm, right? Hopefully. Great. <laughs> um, this is like glitching itself out. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe I didn't get everything exactly centered, but I don't know. I'll just keep going with this gravity turn. So, um, yeah, I think I want height a little bit more than efficiency on this, just because it'll, well, I'll have doubled the amount of thrust from that lower thing, so. That'll be good. Try and get as close to my microphone as I can. Hoping that it gets a really good volume. I've had a problem with the volumes of my video for a while. The um, sous vide steak everything video. That's had a lot of weird volume changes. Oh, it, although I think I'm going to re-upload it with a um, better audio. Uh, I wish I could keep those views though. That's something I wish I could do on YouTube. Or YouTube added so that I could just change like one thing in the video but then still keep all the views. Because I think it I think that has a good amount of views, like thirty, which is okay. Um Yeah. I'm a science channel. Science channels don't get as many views, sadly. But uh yeah. That video is really good. Those steaks are actually amazing. Um I can't tell you how amazing they were and I'm gonna try to make them again tonight actually uh just because of how good they were i'm gonna make them again just for a plain dinner uh they were so good i think that's the moon there it actually looks pretty cool i wonder if there are solar eclipses in this game hmm that would be interesting uh but yeah um let me see how far i am out oh, i'm only at 47 Ugh, okay okay that's not too bad uh i'll get up to 90 and then Stop the engines. 
or just do 35 cents. Okay, I'll just do it there. And then I still have 1,800 Delta V left. Uh, and then I'll do this quick save, save game. Fal I don't know why this caps lock. Falcon 9 YT stream. Because I've already have so many of these that didn't work. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, uh, and then I fairing deploy. I can do that. I don't think anything's too bad in there. I can do that deployed. Uh, yeah. So that, that stage I could land right now, but I am not going to. Because, um, I'll do that after on the quick save. That rover, uh, I really want to do a video on that. Uh, I didn't get all the video clips in, but that would have been an awesome video. I may be able to find the saves somewhere and get it. It was, yeah, that was just, that was just really good. Uh, I, I made a little rover and was able to buy it. It says I don't have enough Delta V, really? Okay. Uh, point towards this. And then we can fire up D engines. I think I should have burned a little bit longer, though, if I had the time then, but I didn't. So we're not going to be the most efficient for this maneuver, but hopefully I think we'll still get a good orbit. You can see these dual rocket engines firing here. Yeah, I can get like a side-by-side -side comparison of this. Hmm, okay. Uh, I need to watch this, but I'll speed it up to make sure that... uh. Not too, too long of a wait. If you didn't know to make the most efficient node time, uh, if you can imagine your total burn time on a table, and then the time till the node exactly, uh, you want that node time to be exactly in the middle of your burn time. So say if you had a two minute burn time and you had one minute till your node, you would want to start about one minute in so that you could get one minute before the node and one minute after. That means that you're dropping enough in your apoapsis, but you're gaining some too. So it evens out. Okay. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Try to make it exact. A little bit more. Okay. Um, I don't think we have a horrible orbit, do we? Nah. I wasn't trying to get the best orbit here. We could circulate it if we wanted to. Uh, I'm going to try to turn off these other things. What, what else do I have here? Try to turn off all of these for the video. Uh, well, actually, I'll keep those on for when we're landing. But here, you can see we are in orbit with our little... Thing here. Here's our little satellite that will orbit forever and ever. I probably should have taken this out of orbit. I probably could have put something on there, but eh. Eh. But here we are, a little relay station. The, this relay di dish will be uh, required complete. I'm not very good at that stuff. Uh, but yeah. Um, But yeah, this will. This is a good relay station. I didn't really need one, but it would be pretty cool to have a relay station like this. You can watch as it orbits around our. What? I'm gonna make this cool. Come on. <laughs> uh. I only do it four times. Okay. I want that to be cool. That didn't turn out very well. Uh, but now I will, well, I'm talking like I'm going to jump cut. <laughs> now I think I'm going to go to this one, the Falcon 9 YT live st er, the stream. And then I can try to land it from here. Yeah. Sorry the brightness isn't very good if you're just coming in. Okay. So I want to point retrograde with this. Uh, hmm. I'm going to try to... Let's see how this orbit's going here. I'm going to try to do a turnaround. Mm 
should try to be able to land on land here. Uh, okay, that'll leave 1,482. I need, that'll leave me with like 200 to land. Oof. Uh, oh yeah. I still haven't got rid of this stuff yet. Hopefully that gives me a little bit more Delta V. Um, and then I can, then, I think there's a real way to do this. What I do is I just go to the probe, switch to, and then I can get, get to it like this. Oh yeah, I have plenty of it now. Um, oh wait, I don't have any batteries on this thing. Oof. Ooh, that's that's a problem. I uh, can't revert the flight. Uh, ooh. I'll just go back to the space center and try to add some batteries. Forgot all about batteries. I forget about a lot of stuff in this game. Uh, it's amazing. You can know how to put an entire thing onto uh, Duna and still forget to put batteries on it. At least we know now, though, that we'll have a lot more Delta V when we do that. You can see even there that we were able to get, uh, we were able to get, um, 2,500 from decoupling the other part. Uh, so, okay. So, now all I need to do is add a couple of these batteries. I'm not gonna add any solar panels, because I don't think we'll be out there for that long. Uh, and we need those. I'll put a couple RTGs though. Uh, yeah, those RTGs are a lifesaver. They're amazing. Uh, and then I'll launch this. I won't try to get the other thing into orbit this time, although I'm sure it's possible. It's not like those batteries affected it that much. Um, and then I'm going to try to, uh, but I'm just going to try to repulsively land that. Hmm. Is there a delay on my voice from some of this? I feel like. I mean, let's look at it all to see. I guess you wouldn't really know because you can't see my face, but eh, I don't think there is. I think it's about perfect. Um, I'm going to try to do a very slight turn because I think there's a turn when SpaceX launches. I don't know. I researched like everything else but the hat. I guess I didn't really think of that. Um, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to launch exactly on that launch pad. Or land exactly on that launch pad, though. Hopefully, I can get pretty close, though. Hmm. It's a little bit long. Maybe I can speed some of it up. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna go more than two. Yeah, with the physics jumps, it kind of like breaks it. Breaks it with large ships if you do it times three uh, physics jumping there. Although I'm still going to try to get the payload up to a reasonable angle. Reasonable height. Ooh, uh, okay. I'll get that. That's good. And then I won't quick save because I won't get the other part. I'll just do this. Uh, yeah, I don't want to waste any time. I want to get that deployed. Boom, boom. And then map. Go to the probe. I don't want to. I think there was like a control that you could do, like F9 or, or something. Deployed last quick save. Hold left nine to more. Okay. You know what? I'll just wait till we're out of the atmosphere here. Switch to it now. Nope. Nope. Uh, <laughs> this should be nearing. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So now, uh, I wish I could make time go slower to get all these worked out. I think Aplapsis will be the best time to do this maneuver. Just because, yeah. Okay, point towards maneuver. Do this burn. 
I need to do this at about 13 seconds in. I need to put a little bit of a burn into it to uh, actually get to this in time. I don't think that'll affect it too, too much. Go back to the maneuver. If you didn't know, that little maneuver sign is where how you get to the maneuver. Okay, so in 13 sec. Uh, okay, now. So, yeah, so basically all I have to do is take the node time. So the node time was. What? I don't even remember. What was it? Um, well, what I have to do is I take, have to take the burn times. So that was 26 seconds. Cut it in half. That was 13. And I was able to get that. Okay. Hopefully we have plenty of delta v in this thing. Uh, delta v, if you didn't know, is using meters per second. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna land in like the highlands now. Might. I'm gonna try to burn. And then I'll just do some fine tune adjusting when we get to it. Yeah, I wish I could burn this. Do this in the day. That's really annoying. Uh, is it turning to day or night? I can't even tell with this. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to point this retrograde so that I can get those retrograde burns in. My electric charge is full because of these rocket engines. I'm not using cheats. These rocket engines uh, give out um, electricity too. Mm. I'm also going to put on the brakes. I'm going to hit this brakes action group and that'll toggle my uh, air brakes. There's no grid fins and actually the purpose of grid fins that are actually pretty cool um, is to try to uh, grid fins um, what they do is they uh, are better at higher speeds and they create vortexes instead of just slamming straight into the air like air brakes do. Uh, waiting for re-entry heating symbol to show up. I don't see much. Uh, I don't even see much. What if I, uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can turn up the brightness settings. Um, <laughs> video graphics. Ambient light boost. Oh. I'm not sure how that worked for you, but that worked for me. A lot of light now. Yeah, I'm way over jumping that thing, although. Uh, hopefully I can get a good place to land and that'll be it. I'm not sure why I'm turning. Please, no turn. I'm gonna use a little bit of fuel to thrust away from that turn. What? Usually in a Falcon 9, you just use the center engine. I'll take all of these, shut down. And then use only that center one. Wait, what? I said to shut down, you guys. Not sure what that's about. Oh, I'm running out of delta V here. Oh, I don't think I had enough delta V to do this. Not at all. Um... Hmm. Yeah, this is hard. SpaceX makes it look easy, but this is hard. <coughs> you really have to do more of a suicide burn, which is very efficient, just not too nice. Burn through that delta V really quickly, though. Hmm. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to uh, load the save. No, oh, well, that's the save that doesn't have it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to uh, put this back to launch. Launch it again. I for totally forgot to put a quick save in. Ugh. My life. This should be a lot, lot brighter now. Hopefully you guys can see it, how bright it is. It's ridiculously bright. It's like hurting my eyes on my screen. What is this spazzing out about? That's weird. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. 
I did have a ton of fuel in my last orbit, or when I tried to use the second stage to orbit. Um, do I think I'm going to? Do I think it's fine that I'm doing a little bit less aggressive in the gravity turn? Completely fine. Sorry if I was running away from my mic, but hopefully this is a little bit louder. Louder. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Once it turns to daytime, this is nighttime that you're seeing. Once it turns to daytime, his eyeballs be screaming for mercy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm even doing at this point. Mm. When is this thing? Um, did that break anything? Hopefully not. Just change something, but hopefully that didn't break anything. Yep. Let's close this apoplexis. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to undo this. I'm going to save the game. Uh, Fal. Oh wait, that's not how you spell Falcon. Or how you type into the typing box, apparently. <laughs> Falcon 9 YT stream reels. That's great. I have a lot of uh, quick saves. I can delete them, but no. Nah. I'll delete them after this video live stream's done. Ooh, this map is really dark now, isn't it? Okay, so I'll add this maneuver that will... I'm basically just, oops, turning around which way I'm going so that I fall the other way. And there we go. 25 second burn. That means just about 12 and a half seconds in, right? Yep, 12 and a half seconds in. And I will do that burn. You know what? Actually, though, I see the space center's over here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to sync that to about there yeah then i can do fine tuning focus no i want to focus on my plane focusing on kerbin uh. okay well anyway that's a 21 second burn that means about 10 and a half seconds Mm, ten and a half seconds. Okay. <sighs> nope. Not copyright. Oh, I don't. I don't even have anything on this video. So, is oh, I got to even like fire towards the maneuver. Uh, it's hard to commentate, guys. Hopefully this still gets me about the same. what's glitching out there but eh. oh yeah I forgot to get this extra Delta V by cutting this off there we go okay so then I can go to the probe and switch to DOS uh, uh, burn retrograde on little puny RCS thrusters not sure exactly what the fuel is for these RCS thrusters. They don't name it. Um, I think on the Falcon 9 they are uh, helium or something. Or no, no, the nitrogen thrusters. I think they're nitrogen thrusters. Although, um, I'm not sure exactly what it is in Kerbal Space Program. They just say RCS fuel. 
Okay, then I can hit this brakes to use this. And I think then I can also allow like these extensions so that they uh, can control pitch and yawn too, which the uh, Falcon 9 ones do do. I still want to shot this a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to take these and shut them down. I still don't know why all of them are firing if only one's supposed to be firing, but... Just slowing me down quite a bit, though. That's just the entry burn. If you didn't know, they all do entry burns. I did, there's no big landing gears in this game, so I didn't have any huge landing gears to add on here, but... Hopefully we can just land like this. I would call that successful, would you? <laughs> uh, so close, yet so far. Uh, I'm going to load that save again, see if I can get that to the right thing. Okay. Uh, there is another plant rocket that's actually being launched um, today. It's a Soviet rocket, which means that it's no wide string for it or anything. But uh, yeah, I was gonna like once I heard that the one that I was gonna do was being canceled, I wanted to try to live stream that. Although Soviet apparently doesn't do live streams, they don't like live streams. Switch this part again. Seriously. Seriously, really, they're, 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 they're. Uh, 65 right now. Just wait till it's like out of the atmosphere. Great game, seriously. I don't know why I added that into the game that really you can't switch, but I don't know. And try to put that about there. Hopefully, that's about in the right spot. Um, yeah, that's a 13 second burn. Does that mean 13 seconds in half would be. would be like six and a half. Yeah. Okay. I'll point towards the maneuver. Pretty close though. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, that about worked. Maybe a little bit overshot, but I don't know. Trying to aim for there, right down there. There's some exciting uh, space news recently. Um, if you didn't know, SpaceX is getting ready to host its first passengers, which I think will be in July, summer-ish. Unless that's postponed. Uh, I've been kind of busy. I haven't kept up with that news in the recent, uh, very recently. PFR has been uh, worked on a lot. That thing's interesting. Um, it's gonna like return differently than the space shuttle. It's gonna return like a penguin, if you know what I mean, which would like belly slide. I don't know, just kind of weird, interesting. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna turn down the thrust limiter to zero, just to make sure that those eight rocket engines don't fire. Yeah, I'm definitely drifting away from that uh, space. It's 
funny how it actually drifts, kind of, instead of just, like, can you point retrograde, please? Instead of actually just, like, doing it. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe it's just an animation glitch or something. I don't know why that's doing that. Uh, if you didn't know, there's a um, entry burn, which is usually used as to whip the fire away. We have plenty of uh, Delta V here, so I think once those flames get rid of it now, I'm going to try to full burn in. Just kind of slows down in the atmosphere here. Yep. Uh, what's also kind of interesting about the facts about this, facts about this, um, is that the Falcon 9 and SpaceX, you know, as a whole, has the largest solid piece of titanium, which is actually their grid fins. Solid, the largest piece of uh, single forged titanium. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm... Now, this isn't the most efficient burn, but... No! Oh, that ground came up quick, didn't it? I thought I had much more time. Yeah, this is always weird, because it says I have 775 meters left, but I'm on the mountains. I think that's from sea level, so... Can't blame it, but... Okay, I'm gonna do this, though. Uh, I can't revert, can I? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, I can load. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try this one more time. I wanna get this. Hasn't been that long of a, uh, live stream yet. It's only an hour. It's actually quite long, but, meh. Okay. I'm gonna try to aim, like, so, so far in the other direction so that it can try to not land on the mountains this time. I don't know why it does that. Uh, I don't wanna land in the water, but I think that maybe I can... Put it like that, which is like way before. And hopefully, uh, wait, why is the burn time so long on that? Oh, that's because we're on the wrong ship here. <laughs> Duh. Uh, yeah, that burn time would be much longer if I wasn't using the super powerful engines of the um, this one. But yeah, I think I've tried to keep this as well as it can be. There's not this big ugly part that's still attached to the Falcon 9. Although, um, I think they just are able to conceal that a little bit more. Oh yeah, I put the thingy on the wrong one. Shoot. <laughs> put the maneuver on the wrong one. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that long of a maneuver, so... I should just be able to get it. 12 seconds, okay. Point towards maneuver. Uh, that means about six seconds. Got about six seconds to hit it a full burn. Now, now that can <laughs> okay. Uh, hopefully that works. Four, three, two, one, boop. Bam, bop, bada bop, bop, pow. Great. So now I should be going the opposite direction. Towards that land right there. Great, I'm speaking the pilot. Don't know why. Yeah. Or, oh, look at the thrust that's being produced by these. What did I do with that? weird though I'm also going to turn these uh, on again and turn them so that they have uh, pitch yawn access and um, oh, <laughs> spinning away stop spinning no okay, there we go okay so this will be able to help control me a little bit while I'm in the atmosphere, which is good. I still feel like I'm drifting a little bit. Like, yeah, now I'm going to be totally missing it again. I don't know. That's just weird. Purple Space Storm has been glitching in all the... It's just weird. Yeah. I probably should have put a sep 
total separator here, but just the blue separators if you didn't know, and those separate blue parts. That would have been handy because now this is like an off-centered weight. Just would have filled some of the weight too. Hmm. Point to retrograde then. You little ship. I said ship, by the way, like spaceship. <laughs> Not anything else. I realized that didn't sound right. <laughs> You can see it's still like okay. It's all burning a little bit. Okay. Ease off some force and also ease off those flames. I guess it's better to ease off your speed too early than too late, right? But yeah, you can see that suicide burn that I was talking about. How that, um, oh, this is tipping. No, 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 That, um, just a little bit off and it crashed and died. Or parachutes, it's not the same, though. Or any other landing method. That's just annoying. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try one last time. Just to make sure this video doesn't go on too, too long. I'm gonna try one last time. Um, yeah. This is difficult. It's surprisingly difficult. I didn't think it would be uh, as difficult when I set off to do this challenge. Yep, I just need to wait till this probe gets out of the atmosphere, though. It's a weird angle right here inside Kerbin. It's funny how the orbit lines go into the center of the planet. Instead of, like, in the orbit around the center of the planet. Which is actually kind of interesting, since it's kind of scientific as, like, has, um... It would be the center of the gravity would be the middle of the planet. I don't know. We usually think of orbiting around the entire planet, but kind of orbiting around the middle, which is interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to try to put this completely, like, almost straight down this time to make sure. Yeah, maybe like this to make sure that uh, I don't drift too far. Nine seconds. Okay, four and a half. Oh, and then I need to go towards this maneuver. Putting a little bit of thrust to make sure that the vectors can push it. Uh, I think it's better than not being anywhere near it when the burn time comes. What's wrong about this burn time? Uh, excuse me, Mom? <laughs> I don't have any audio on now. Did they just, like, did the entire thing just, like, blow up? Um, it's, like, fragment, what? <laughs> I'm confused. I don't have any audio. I'm not sure if this stream has audio, but I'm confused. That was, I don't know. I'm going to try that again, though. One more time. Getting about an hour and 13 minutes here. Don't want to take up too much of your Memorial Day weekend. Hmm. I was looking at the um, stats, a little bit of where people have watched my videos. It's kind of interesting. It's amazing how much you can uh, see. I can see there was one person that watched my video in Alaska interesting <laughs> i can see what countries like everywhere 
Yeah, this is still not out of the atmosphere yet. No? Yeah. That's what I'm using. Right. Okay. So now I need to make this maneuver. And I'm going to watch it this time. After I make the maneuver to make sure to see what happens. Uh, doop, just like that. I'm going to see how this works. It might land in water, but... Eh, SpaceX has already done that. I won't be the first. So I'm not sure what exactly broke this thing last time. So I'm going to try to face towards it a little bit and see if, like, there's a piece of debris that's going to hit it. Oh! Is that what? Did they hit on that and just, like, break? Somehow? Okay. So, horn hacks. So, it doesn't really do hacks here, but I'll just do, like, now. Yeah. Mm. Two, one, boom. Still have a little bit left, but... That's like straight down. You ha you can't tell me that that'll land in the mountains again. <laughs> uh, now I need to, mm, mm, and I'll point to retrograde. Uh, navel pitch and yawn on all of these. And then I'm going to turn off these engines, just like how they do it in, uh, just like how SpaceX does it. I don't get that iconic single engine burn all the way down, but whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to use the little bit of engine burn to point the exact way. It's funny how all of them point like that. Okay, and then... I'm gonna slow down. I would stop like right before so that I wouldn't lose much. But actually, if you didn't know, it needs to kind of lose the engines to stop too because in space it just keeps spinning and spinning until. I don't know. Okay. Mm, yeah, I really wish I could get this thing away. Like, I feel like that's like messing me up. Like, little, little, little imperfections in there. Just. I don't know. I don't know. I'll try. It seems like I'm aiming a little bit more at shore now. I still feel like I'm drifting a lot, which is very interesting. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a glitch or something, but I don't know why. Yeah, it looks like I might even land in the mountains again somehow. Uh, I don't know why I'm tipping. Well, oh, well, that's because... See, it is following my exact retrograde, so if I'm moving along the surface like this, if you can see my cursor, then that'll mean that, uh, that, uh, it'll, my retrograde will be that way, because that's the way I'm moving, if you get what I mean, which you might not, probably don't, <laughs> anyway, hope this volume's good, I feel like I'm talking really low, but, I don't know, um, I'm trying to slow down as much as I can here, still have about 2,000 delts of these, so, Oh, maybe I should speed up this. No! Oh, I got down to 26. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, what is this? Um. Hello? Is this count as landing? I, okay. So, um, I think I'll stop this here to make sure this doesn't go on for too long. And we've concluded from this video that I am not as good at SpaceX as uh, delivering payloads into space, which I guess is reasonable. Um, and while SpaceX may be able to land the entire first stage and reuse it, I, can reuse the decoupler. So anyway, guys, bye.